Okay, Callum, so thank you for joining me today. Uh, obviously, before we, we get into the witness game tomorrow, I want to talk about the games that we've played already in December. Obviously, it'd be, it'd be easy to talk about the negatives, you know, lost two out of three, conceded six goals. But what did you see from your side that you liked during those three games? I think the the most relevant of the games is the Morpeth game because it was competitive. It was playing for something in terms of progression in the cup competition. And I thought we were excellent. Um, I don't even think we improved that much in the second half. I think we we put a type of performance on in the first half that was undermined by two massive mistakes uh, at some restarts that have ultimately meant we've gone it 2-0 down. However, we've, we've then played the two friendlies and look, the, the results aren't important. You're after a level of performance and you try and be quite specific in terms of what you're trying to, to see. So we had some outcomes on the Saturday and outcomes on the Tuesday. To be fair, we hit stuff to improve on in both games. Uh, the trend of going behind in all three games is something that's followed us around since the start of the season. I'm, I'm not naive enough to, to recognise that. And that's something that we as a group have, have got to sort of turn around. Um, however, I was really pleased with the levels. The physical outcomes were the primary objectives over the course of the, the two friendlies Saturday, Tuesday. And um, we feel like we're in a really good place now going into Saturday. And onto the game tomorrow, obviously, winners come in 16th in the table, just uh, above relegation places while you're aiming for the playoffs. Do you see yourselves as a clear-cut favourite? And would you be, how, how disappointed would you be if you didn't win tomorrow? No, we're never favourites for anything. We haven't been favourites all season. Um, look, league tables are irrelevant, especially in the context of this season where some teams will have played 20 games and others will have played three. I think you've seen that across the, the non-league pyramid. Uh, so we won't get too wrapped up in that. What it is, is an opportunity to get three points. Form tables are relevant because it's been so long since there's been a league fixture. League tables are irrelevant. It's going to be a really good test for both sides. And we've just got to make sure we come out of the, the other side of the three points that we want. Our focus is that it's the first of our next block of six games that will take us through to the 16th of January. A busy Christmas schedule where we will have a points target that we, we want to hit. And ultimately, we want to make sure that we're still on for that points target after um, Saturday's game. And to you, who stands out as the key player for Witness? Who should we be looking out for tomorrow? Team of good players. I like Sam better sent it forward. He's a handful, was at Atherton Coles previously. He's got pace, he's a threat in behind. But look, I'd rather talk about our players. I, I wonder if you ask them, who are they worrying about playing against for us? Is it Ryan Brook? Um, is it Craig Linfield? Which of our forwards that's been in free scoring form are they concerned about? Is it Tom McCready in centre midfield? Is it Jack Welsh, who was absolutely outstanding? And, and Louis Hayes, that I thought was the best player on the pitch on Tuesday night against Morpeth. Um, two teams that will know a lot about each other in the same area. It just makes for a, a cracking contest and, and an opportunity for the three points. Well, then for you, who's the key player for you tomorrow? <laughs> um, ask me at five o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll be able to give the answer. Um, look, we we feel like we've we've improved consistently, um, but still have one or two areas to improve or stamp out to make sure that we are consistently at our best and getting the results that we want to get. Like I said, it's been a long layoff from league action. I think you saw the group on Tuesday night against Morpeth weren't a million mile away from where we were before the lockdown. That was the most pleasing thing against the side that will be one of the best sides who play all season. I think they'll they'll go on and have a really good season and, and obviously they've progressed through to the, the next round of the competition. They get to test themselves against the National League outfit. Um, our key men, we're surrounded by good players. I have big decisions to make week in, week out and I'm uh, I'm not daft enough to put my, uh, my hat on any one player until uh, the game's finished. And finally, obviously, you guys haven't kept a clean sheet since September, um, but obviously you've been very successful in that time period. So is it a case of more of a want than a need tomorrow? Um, two ways to look at it. If we keep a clean sheet against Pontefract on the opening day of the season, we have two more points than the one we picked up that day. If we keep a clean sheet against Brighouse, then we have two extra points than the ones we got that day. If we keep a clean sheet against Clitheroe, you know, I can go on and on. Um, however, we've been in absolute free scoring form. I can't remember the last time we didn't score two goals in a game. And whether that's a friendly, a cup game, a league game, that is a reflection on how talented our forward players are. However, 
We've defended well in certain games. I think mistakes have undermined us. So I look at the goals you can see, and I spend a lot of detail on that, and I, I try and look at trends. Is it a certain type of goal in a certain time of the game? We've conceded too many goals in the opening quarter of the game. I think everyone can see that. In the first 22 and a half minutes, we've conceded too many goals. Um, and equally, I think we've we've let ourselves down, certainly in most recent games on restarts um, and second phase restarts as well. But let's not turn it into, well, our defenders, we're not being opened up. In open play, Peter Wiley, Scott Lysett, Alex Down, Sean O'Marney, they've been outstanding. Ali Brown and James Shaw, everyone is talking about what they offer in the final third, but they've been absolutely outstanding across our back line. So we've defended well over the course of games. I think mistakes have let us down. And it's my job to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to remove those mistakes, to make sure that the goals against Column is maybe a little bit kinder to us. But at the same time, when you're in such free scoring form and, and playing the type of football that we'll play. So, for example, the first goal that scored in a friendly midweek, teams will score that goal against us. That will happen again um, because of the type of football we're trying to play and the demands we're putting on our defensive players to build from the back. That's, that's our sort of philosophy. What's important is that we don't become a team that are never going to keep a clean sheet because of the way we're playing. And that's my job to make sure that that's not the case. Well, I think that's the perfect place to leave it. Thank you very much, Callum, for joining me. Pleasure. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday.